So, hello everyone. I'm Nika from Deep Pavlov, and today I will show you how to use Deep Pavlov's DF Designer extension to build simple chatbots, or to be more precise, simple chatbot skills to be later integrated into chatbot systems using DF SDK. I'm going to start uh, with a few words about our DF Designer extension. Uh, so basically, DF Designer makes the process of building your own chatbots easier and more enjoyable by making user draw your schemes. So um, we know that a dialogue between a chatbot system and the user can be represented as a graph with bots and users' utterances as nodes and specific users' utterances as conditions uh, used for transitioning to specific bots' utterances. Both conditions and nodes can be added using draw.io graph. Uh, and the DF Designer extension will then add uh, uh, the conditions and nodes uh, from draw.io graph to the code automatically. An important feature of DF Designer is its Discourse Moves recommendation system. It helps the developer understand what moves a user might make in a response to a specific bot utterance, and then uh, all those user moves can be used as possible conditions for transitioning to different bot utterances nodes. Uh, now, Discourse Moves recommendation system can operate in terms of either speech functions or Medas Dialog X classifier. I will get into more details about that later. And now I suggest that we uh, start actually doing something, uh, that we start building our uh, building or just making changes to our new skill. So I'm just going to walk you through the instruction that we have here. I'm working in VS Code, and uh, now I'm on the page of DF Designer extension in uh, Extensions tab. And uh, let's uh, go through the instruction together. I'm going to do that in uh, VS Code terminal. Okay, so let's do what we are asked to do here. So cloning the repository changing to the folder that we need, installing requirements. Uh, building our DFSDK runtime using Docker. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Now I'm going to open another terminal, new one. Uh, yeah, uh, make sure that you are in the same uh, folder, dialog flow as the key. And let's run our example code. If nothing pops up here automatically, let's go to Explorer folder and uh, you can see the files that we need here. Uh, go to examples folder and our example file is food.py. Uh -huh. Let's right click on food.py and uh, here we're going to do an interesting thing. Uh, we are going to, uh, so we're going to split down. Oh no, not left, I'm sorry. To split down, get rid of the terminal. We don't need it for now. And we are going to reopen the file that we have here with our DF Designer editor. Mm -hmm. It takes some time to process, but yeah, now it's ready. Uh, yeah, you can see graph representation of the code that we have here. A useful feature of uh, our extension is that by clicking on either uh, on any node that you're interested in will take you to this node in the code. Uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's take a look quickly at how our code works. So yeah, we have, uh, we have blue nodes for bots utterances, and we have yellow nodes for users utterances, which as I have said earlier, can be used as conditions to go to the next bots utterance. Uh, yeah, you can also, uh, you can also drag uh, these no nodes in any way that you like. Uh, to make this scheme look nicer. And you can also open them and see what's inside. Or you can just go to the code and uh, see what's inside the code. So, um, okay. Uh, yeah, and now let's take a, a closer look at the code itself. So here we have nodes. Nodes are bots utterances. Here we have transitions. 
for each node. So from this greeting node, we can transition, for example, to another Q node. And a transition takes place when any of these uh, when any of these conditions is satisfied. So when we have uh, when user's utterance is uh, either uh, React response support develop extend or elaborate or register or enhance. Yeah, another transition is uh, to the node likes lasagna, and here are conditions for it. Uh, another and another two transitions here. So here we also have a uh, bot's response and note that uh, in order to use our speech function predictor, you have to specify speech functions for each sentence inside the bot's utterances as a list. For example, here for hi, we have open attempt. For I was thinking about food when you texted, we have open gif fact. I'm dreaming about lasagna is sustain, continue, prolong, elaborate. And finally, our question, as all the other questions, uh, is going to be, as the majority of the other questions, sorry, is going to be React Rejoinder Support Track Clarified. That's it. Note that predictions are going to be made primarily on the basis of uh, the, the last speech function uh, specified for the bot's response. So uh, now we are just going to add one uh, to add one example uh, node uh, to our scheme that we already have here, and then uh, I will show uh, to you how it looks uh, in the code and how to do that in the scheme, and then we will try to run uh, our bot together and see what happens. All right, so. Mm, let's suppose, uh, yeah, note that here in the greeting node, the, bo the bot greets the user and uh, asks him if the user likes lasagna. Suppose that uh, instead of answering the question, the user decided to ask the bot uh, his own question. For example, and what about you? Do you bot like lasagna? Then uh, his answer will be uh, treated as either uh, React Rejoinder Support Track Confirm or React Rejoinder Support Track Clarify. Um, yeah, and uh, another unexpected speech function that we have here is React Rejoinder Support Resolve, which is also not something that we expect to uh, as an answer to a question like, do you like it? Because it's uh, uh, not an open-ended question and Resolve is uh, a function for answers to open-ended questions. So yeah, if we get any unexpected answer in return to this question, then we go to the node confused bot. Let's go here, yeah, and confused bot says, oh, I really don't know what to say. Do you want to talk about cuisines on the, of the world? And here we have uh, yes, um, and we have no. What we are going to do now is add another condition. Um, yeah, let's suppose that, that the user once again decides, instead of answering the bot's question, ask his own question. Uh, so yeah, and uh, when we want to show suggestions, we have to make sure that if we're using speech function version of predictor, then we have to make sure that we have speech function um, specified here. And uh, see that uh, here we also have examples for speech functions. So you can take a look at the examples and decide which speech function works best in your case. Uh, for me, uh, as it is an open-ended question, do you want to talk about cuisines of the world? My speech function label is going to be clarify. Okay, let's click save. Let's get predictions. Here we have a clarify, uh, which is what we wanted to add because we wanted to add clarify uh, as uh, a user's answer, a reply to bot's utterance, where a user, instead of answering the bot's question, asks his own question. So it is going to be a clarify given in response to bot's clarify. Mm -hmm. Let's click here. We're going to call this node confused bot2. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, let's suppose that in case uh, the user asks a question that the bot doesn't know how to answer, once again, the bot is just going to say, oh, which is going to be register. Mm -hmm. Let's wait a second, confused bot two. 
Now let's go to this node in our code. Here it is. And let's just do it like this. Oh. Mm -hmm. So yeah, now that we have added another node, let's, uh, let's save everything. And then let's go back to our instruction and see how we can test uh, what we have just added. All right. Uh, so let's open a terminal once again. Make sure that you are in Dialogflow SDK folder where I already am. And let's run our beautiful example file. It takes a while to run, so be patient. It will run eventually. Oh, and if you are getting an error like this, it probably is due to the differences in uh, DFF uh, versions. I will show you how to fix it. So we have just to go to our code. Let's open it in text editor as a code. You have to comment out those two beautiful lines in case you have them in uh, the code, in case they aren't yet removed. So yeah, we comment them out, we save. Let's let's now try to run again, and uh, it must work this time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, everything works. Beautiful. Nice to see that. Okay. All right. So. Uh, Okay, uh, let's just type hi, say hello to the bot. You see that it prints a lot of information, uh, so it cl uh, classified our highest open give opinion for some reason, even though it shouldn't have. But remember that it's a better version. Uh, yeah, the bot says, hi, I was thinking about food when you texted. I'm dreaming about lasagna. Do you like it? And uh, as far uh, as I said earlier, here we want to confuse the bot and ask our own question. And what about you? So we came to confuse the bot, uh, the node that we used to have earlier. Oh, I really don't know what to say. Do you want to talk about cuisines of the world? And let's suppose that we want to confuse the bot again to go to the node that we have just added. I'll ask again what about you. And we came to the node O, which we have just added uh into our dialog graph so that's it if you want to you can also explore other options and uh, add your own conditions uh, to see uh, how you can enhance the skill that we have here i will also show you what to do if you don't want to use our speech functions and you want uh, to use uh, midas dialog acts instead in that case, you just have to go to settings. Uh, you have to, uh, yeah, you have to go here. Then you have to find extension step here, go to DF designer. And here you can specify which predictor you want to use. So it's either Midas or it's speech function classifier. And I showed you how to work with speech function classifier. Note that if you want to work with Midas, then uh, here, in the skim. Yeah, then here in the skim, you will have to specify Midas, uh, Midas dialog, uh, dialog acts instead of speech functions. So be sure not to mix the top and uh, always to put the SFC, um, SFC, choose the SFC option in settings when you're working with speech functions and choose Midas option in the settings when you're working with Midas dialog acts. 
Uh, so that's it. I do hope that you enjoyed our little short introduction to building uh, your own skills using DF Designer. That's it. See you and good luck. <laughs>